Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. How are you doing? Today, instead of one game, I'm going to be playing three games. They are three upcoming games, so there are demos out and you can play them for free. I'll put links to the games on Steam. I'm not sure if the demos will still be up, hopefully, because they're very fun games. They're all simulation style games, which I love and I think are pretty well loved by you all as well. And um, they're fairly fun games, all of them. And hopefully, when they properly come out, we can play them, the, the real full game. Okay, let's get started with the first game that is called Cat Cafe Manager, which is all about running and managing a cat cafe. I really didn't even know that I wanted this so badly, but as soon as I just heard the word Cat Cafe Manager, I was like, yes, oh my gosh, I, I need that. So we're going to Catterwall Way is a small countryside town. We're from the big city. Um, but we seem to have lived there when we were young. We'll say Dad never mentioned how pretty it was. Sorry, I said the mom option last night. Granny stayed because you found out she was running a business. What kind of business, I wonder? Hmm. That's a nice place to be, uh, a building. There's a big man rummaging around the field. It's this man, and his name is Bonner. Um, my grand's letter asked me to come. Oh, he knew our crown. He's a good friend of hers. Couldn't compete with her cats. Ah. What's our name? Okay, let's find out. My name, instead of kitten, my name will be... Jubilee. My hairstyle is, let's say we can go half long, afro, curly, spiky, tied back. And we have all these fun colors, you know, you can do like a crazy color, um, or like, you know, a normal color. And what about skin color? Oh, are there there's no, like, fantasy skin colors. Okay, um, I think you're not doing, like, a, like, a fun hair color, maybe. Let's do the purple hair. Should we do tied back? Yeah, I like the tied back. Oops. Oh, I saw that I didn't add the last E. Because it kind of matches the bow tie. We've got our grand's black button eyes. <laughs> Oh, we can trade. We can be a gourmand, which gives us cooking. Gentle, which is cat care. A social butterfly. Uh, last night I did gentle. I'm gonna pick gourmand this time. We're rebuilding her cat cafe. Okay, so we can name the cafe. Cat in the kettle, so the suggested name. Let's find um something kind of ASMR like the the cozy kitty the, or the quiet kitty. The quiet kitten. That's the name of our cafe, the quiet kitten. Although I don't think there is such a thing. Such a clever cat based pun. Unless it's not a pun. Oh, here's some guineas. There's a lot of strays around here, and we can adopt one. So, do we want this little guy? This one? Or this one? They have different needs like food, bladder, or stress. Um, we'll pick. Um, tiny tummy. I choose you. We can name the kitty. Let's name this one Whisper. Because it's 
the quiet kitty. Whisper. Could have named it Whiskers. Whisper Whiskers. Okay, they seem to trust us. We've got Grand's feline charms. Oh, the cafe was destroyed, but he saved some furniture, which we got. Okay, so this is really fun. Um, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna read all this for now because I know it and I can just better show you guys. So you run around using WASD. You can go into a decorating mode. This is really fun. There's build and there's decorate. So like we get to actually build up the cafe. So like, let's see, we could go. That's gonna cost us a lot. Let's start small, you know, and just do like a little bit of a path, you know, that's about all I can afford. Let's have a kitchen in the back that you can go to. Let's see if I can maybe expand down the side a little bit. Okay, I ran out of room, which is not great. So maybe I'll just get that back. Okay. This is the cozy, the quiet kitten so far. Okay, let's go to decorate mode and add the sink. You know what? I didn't add a door. There's the door. Okay. And since it's only like a one by one door, maybe I should delete that. I didn't get it back. That's annoying. What? 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 Oh dear. This is not good. I just wasted. Now I don't get that back. Okay, well, it is just a beginning game, you know. It's... What? Where's my door? Oh, the door got removed. our chairs like that and we can have a rose bush and of course we have to feed the cats and um this is it this is the quiet kitty pet lure i don't have any lures i could go to the town real quickly I also need to buy some ingredients, like I'd like to make a pretzel and black coffee and let's also get black tea and then I'll need the bread, the coffee beans and the tea leaves, that's all I can afford. Okay, so we have our first customer, I'm gonna take his order, he wants some water, so we'll just get the water in the sink and serve it to him. I won't get in ahead of myself by buying the extra stuff. I don't think we'll need those extra recipes. We're just going to be serving these guys today, which just require water. Um, which is why I'm so slow. Look, the cats go and they sit in their laps and I can... Uh oh, I, there was a spill. Okay, I'll clean it up. But you can Hi. pet the cats. Oh, here's someone to chat with. Carla Lala. Carla or Lala or both. She runs the pet emporium. Thanks, Carla. I will. She's actually a witch. Yes, I figured that. So there are witches that live here and they're going to come visit the quiet kitten. They pay basically there's different kinds of customers, and each customer pays with a different currency. When you use, there's different currencies in the different, um, in the different, what's it called? It's shops. So, Vagabonds pay in fabrics, which is pay in nectar, artists pay in jewels, fisherfolk pay in fish, 
punks pay in materials and business people pay in gold and then we can spend them in the town so like the pet goods takes fishing and the furniture store takes um, gems let's buy the coffee machine can't afford anything else oh actually this one takes um, fabrics well I'll wait and the market takes potions, which we get from the witches, so that's how this works, basically. Here comes someone new. I think this is a witch. I think. If she wants a pretzel, we will make the pretzel. Serve the pretzel. And pet the cat while we're waiting. Oh, nope, sorry, the cat wanted to sit with her. Now I'll pet the cat. I like this cat. Please stop at the pet emporium soon. Okay. She gave us some heart delight. Oh, one water coming right up. Actually, I think all the games that I'm going to show you today are like food related. Yeah, which is kind of funny. Um, they're not all cat cafes. Oh, I didn't add the lure. Let's put the canned. And now we will attract kitties to the cafe. You know those strays that were hanging out with this kitty? Okay, dusk sets. We hear raspy meowing. Oh, who is it? It's, whoa, look at this beautiful cat. It's an ancient black cat with big yellow eyes. Hi. Oh, they knew our grandmother. So they are surprised to find the cat cafe open and they're cats are chosen shut to their paws are soft, their tummies full, and their bristles bristly. <gasps> That's so cute. Okay, he's gonna show us something. Something down here. There's a shrine. They brought it to light. Those are the heart points. Well, fill the hearts at the light and restore the shrine to its former glory. What is this shrine? Mio ha ha. They'll tell the tale in time, but it's powerful. So we'll get benefits. Okay, let's set a project. So it's basically a skill and perk kind of tree, so we can work on getting more cats, unlocking litter boxes, more recipes, more decoration, hiring staff, and adding chairs. Well, I'm gonna pick because you can never have too many cats. I forgot to add our coffee maker. Whoops, that was silly of me, wasn't it? Okay, so tomorrow we will be ready to make coffee. Let's skip to the morning. These are the people that we served. And we earned some fabrics and some nectar. Okay, let's start the next day. Come on, come all to the quiet kitten. We're open for business, and we have a cute, cute cat. Okay, one water coming right up. Okay. We have a staff training point. So, we can actually click on that here, and Jubilee can level up. We can gain a skill. I'm going to get it in service because we need more leveling in service. See the time up here. Time is moving. And every time we, they get the light. Yep, I've already done this. Um, we fill this up. Okay, one pretzel. Of course. Sorry, just had to sneeze. Okay, let's serve the pretzel. And look, there are some cats outside. Okay. Who shall we take? Well, you can't just pick one. You can only pet one. This one, Nico, um, is a party cat. This one, Ezra, is a chill cat. And Deborah is a sharer cat. I think the chill cat fits the vibe of the quiet kitty. Although, eventually, we would like to have all the kitties, no? I mean, what's a cat cafe without, like, literally a ton of cats?
So, I just, I don't know, I love this. Like, not only you get to build the cafe yourself, but, um, there's a bit of an element of kind of like diner dash to it with cute characters. Like, this is Finley. Thanks so much. Finley is an artist <laughs> making music. And there's artists in Catterwall and they want to come here and focus on work and they'll pay in jewels. We can buy furniture with the jewels. And Finlay would like some coffee. Of course. That is cool, same here. So we've met Finley. They're regulars. They're like named characters. So here are some black coffee, Finley. Um, but also any way of saying the game has the theme of cats. I mean, I love that. I really love kitties. And there's something very relaxing about it. It's really relaxing. I mean, like, it's a fun game about serving food in a cat cafe that you own and operate. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, we ought to keep an eye on the ingredients we have. We can check in the menu quite quickly that we've got enough bread and coffee beans and all that. We can also set the menu. We could, you know, not do water or pretzels, but then, you know, I'm pretty sure the people that come to order those things won't come, so it's no good. Um, oh, there it looks like here's a, an artist with a little beret and a paintbrush. Need some black coffee, and we've run out of kitty food, so I will, um, I have to go buy it. Um, wait, no I don't, okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. The cats are back. Let's pet Ezra again. This one. Yeah. I think we're gonna have to pet the cat one more time, and then possibly they will come live with us. But hold on, we've run out of the canned stray lure, so I'm gonna go place another for next time, and we've also leveled up again, so let's, um, I'll go all the way to level 3, because that's what I need to be at to properly serve all these people. Okay, that was our last customer. Time to close and skip to morning. Okay, we could be doing better. buy more chairs. True. Let's see if I can maybe buy another chair. So we could buy a pep chair, a ma magic chair, or a basic chair. The pep chair is the cheapest. I'll buy another one. And I guess it doesn't really match. It doesn't match the other chairs, unfortunately. So, you know, that's not great, but, you know, it's got that, like, cozy, eclectic kind of vibe. Oh, look, Bonner is back. We can chat with him. Um, it's been a dream to help the cats. So, he's going to have fisher folk come sit at the cafe, and they're going to pay in fish. <laughs> so... Which we can but use to buy stuff at the Pet Emporium, which we've already been doing. So, I think we've already met them. And then the Fisher folks seem to like black tea, so here you go, some tea, which we're now 3 out of 3 on serving, so we should be doing better with that. Some tea sounds really good, actually. I haven't had any coffee or tea this morning, but I think I'd like to have some after this. Okay, are you guys ready to add another kitty? Let's pet this one and come live with us. Adopt. Um, we could keep the name Ezra. I'm gonna go with another, um, let's see what kind of 
ASMR kind of um, name can we go with? Um, let's call you Fluff. Because, like, Fluff. Fluff and Fluffy seems like a relaxing kind of word. Fluff. Okay, Fluff is now going to live in the cafe. And actually, let me show you something cool. Which is that all the kitties are, um, the kitties are enjoyed by Gavin, my husband, loves reading old maps. Oh, I love, I love maps too. Oh, and he likes drawing in the maps. Oh, we've got a mess to clean up. Okay, well, I was gonna show you guys something, but it seems to be more overrun of customers. Okay, um... I think we're gonna need to unlock the litter boxes next. Yeah, because this is kind of gross, right? Gross, gross, gross. Um, I was gonna say that the cats can also level up, first of all, but the different cats, if, um, like, the different people like them, like, vagabonds like this cat, and witches like this cat. I guess because it's a black cat. And then the ginger tabby cat, vagabonds. Vagabonds like all the cats. And the fisher folk like this cat too. So eventually, when you get all of them, there should be a cat for every kind of customer. So the vagabonds like all of them, so you should be happy there. Oh, and also, the cats can level up. So we can we can train Whisper so that the witches like this cat even more. I'm gonna go with Vagabonds. I think we get, we seem to have more Vagabonds than witches come into the store. I say that as a witch. Um, and you can also, you only you have a limit on how many kitties you can have. Right now it's only, it's, we can only have three, but we're working on adding two cats. To the cat limit. Um, okay. We still have some of the lure, right? Yeah, okay. Just want to make sure that we don't, um, you know, we want to make sure the cats are always coming to the cafe. The good thing we had an extra chair, it really helps. We really get, like, a lot of people now. Oh, we've almost completed that. Oh, speaking of which. The strays are back. Okay, who do we want this time? This kitty was the party kitty, this was the sharing kitty, and this was the clean kitty. Um, I think I want to do the sharing kitty. This one looks most like my kitty, Atticus. So I, oh, we need a new lure. Let's buy that. And we may need to eventually um, buy another bowl because I think each cat food bowl only feeds like two cats. Yeah. Oh, we did it. Okay, there we go. Project complete. Now we can add two more cats. Let's pick a new project. Let's get that litter box one because it's, I'm not gonna lie, a little gross that the cats are just peeing on the floor. Like, personally, if I walked into a cat cafe and saw that there were no litter boxes anywhere for the cats, and they just, and they were just peeing on the floor, yeah, I would leave. Okay, I can level up again. Let's level up in, well, we'll do cleaning for now. Okay, and I think as soon as she leaves, yep, end of the day, let's skip to the morning. We still only got a B rank. I think it's because they weren't as satisfied with the cats. See? The artist doesn't have any cats that they would like, so... Eventually, we need to have all the cats. Oh, let me check. Do I have enough? I'm running low on bread. So maybe soon I should buy more bread. Sky. 
we'll also be able to, you know, maybe we should buy the other recipes. Okay, let's buy the herbal tea and the china espresso. And do I need to buy anything else? We don't have any herbs. We'll need that for the herbal tea. And I'm gonna go ahead and just get more bread. So I don't have to do it later. Okay. Uh oh. Spill to clean up and a pretzel to make. I think I'll just finish this day and then that'll be it. I'm stuck for this demo. Okay, let's pet the this Siamese looking cat again. Which I like all the cats. Okay, we just gotta pet that one one more time. Make some black coffee. Here you go, ma'am. But again, the artist doesn't really have a kitty that they wanna that they love that the most. petting the cats, but it's not their favorite cat. Here's another artist. So what do you guys think of this game? I think that of all the three demos I'm going to show you today, this one is the most well done. I think it's like, like, oh, so cute. Like, I think this feels the most like a completed game without many problems. Um, oh, here's someone new. Mateo. And this is the business person, which I'm just gonna skip past. Um, yeah, business person. And they're gonna pay in gold. Okay, yep. Alright, well, what do you want? We met Mateo. He's gonna have some black coffee. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I think of the demos today that this is the one that I'm most excited about or that I maybe enjoyed the most. Hard to say. I do really think all three would be a lot of fun, like the kind of games that I would play um, on my own and probably play a lot. Oh, Stray Cats. Oh dear, we really need that letterbox. Okay, I think it's finally time to- oh. <laughs> okay, I didn't like any of those nicknames. Alright, it's time to add this kitty to our cafe. What shall we name it? Instead of Deborah, let's name the cat. Um, oh man, it's really hard to think of ASMR related terms that also work well as cat names. I'll name this one Tingle, but that seems like a silly name. And business people like Tingle, so... Alright, hurry up, Tingle, there's a guy right there. <laughs> we can also level up one of the cats. Let's level up Fluff, and Fisher Folk will like you more. And I think I need to buy another lure. I just always need these lures so that I can have as many cats as possible. Okay, once this guy leaves, that'll be the end of the day. He's just petting every single cat. Alright, and that was the end of the day. We almost did this. Let's see, how was our rating today? We got an A, finally. Awesome. That's very, very good. Alright, I am going to stop playing this demo, but I think you guys got the gist of the game. It's really fun, and it's really cute, and I hope you enjoyed it. Alright, the second game is called Espresso Tycoon, and I will warn you guys, you can kind of tell, the graphics of this game 
cream not my favorite I think the cream looks a little dated um, reminds me of an, an older tycoon game but in a way I really like that not necessarily graphics wise but something about the gameplay does remind me of those old school tycoon games I used to play as a kid and I really like that I'm gonna play the tutorial so and kind of show you how to play the game um, yeah like this art is just not great okay um, I like this typing sound I'm not gonna stop and read everything I'm just gonna show you okay you can create a brand and basically you changing these icons, the name, the font, and the color, you can mark it towards a different kind of person, customer. We're aiming for tourists, so I'll go through the icons, I'll see which one the tourists seem to like the most. It's kind of hard to tell. And there's a lot of weird ones, as you can see. They really like the palm tree, okay? And what shall we call something with a palm tree? Something beachy, right? Like, um, um, how about coastal kappa? Yeah, <laughs> I love alliteration. and business people and seniors also seem to like Coastal Kappa. Okay, hold on. Oh dear. This does not look like a good coffee shop. It looks like a place full of hazardous waste. So now we're learning how to move. So we can move the camera around and we can rotate the camera. Okay, there's a cinematic mode which is pretty Cool. So we press tab to go into the cinematic mode and we can look around. We can change the field of view. It's kind of similar to the Sims. Um, like camera, reset and exit. Okay, now we need to do some work. Um, like for instance, getting rid of this hazardous waste. So, I'm really just gonna remove it, get rid of it, and there we go, all done, okay. That's better, but it's still kind of yucky, so we're gonna repaint the walls and the floor. So we go into the decorating mode, and let's see what we can do, brick wall, plaster wall, and that's about it. Let's do brick wall, it's classic coffee shop, I feel like. Okay, cost us a little bit, and for the floor, I don't like that one. We'll do wood. Okay, it smells of fresh paint. Yeah. Okay. Let's buy some furniture. Well, yeah, they need a place to sit, right? So we'll go back into the decorating mode, and I can actually type in like table, and um, like get like little patio. Let's do one outside. Let's go blue to match <laughs> the theme. And then I'll do a big table. Put it over here. And then we'll buy some chairs. 
I'll do the patio. Oops. I'll do the patio chair outside. Um, we'll keep it white, white and blue. So we'll buy two here, and you can like rotate them. And inside we'll do the aluminum chairs to go with the aluminum table. places for the coffee lovers to come and sit. Alrighty. So we can... I want us to open it, rotate an item, move the decoration item without snapping, which is... How do I do that? seems to be holding control, but then that's not... You can always have it tell you. Alt. Yeah, oh, alt. This is the same as in The Sims. It's not... Oh, oh there it is. Okay. Um, and then sell something. Well, I didn't really want to sell a chair, but let's buy it back. <laughs> no, wrong chair. And close the decoration window. It looks, and now it doesn't look nice, it looks gross. We can, we can buy a jukebox. I don't really want a jukebox, but... Oops. We'll put it here. And you can set what kind of music you want to play, like lounge music. Um, so now we're going to create some coffee by opening the menu and adding espresso to the list. But we don't have any coffee beans. Oh, and add the flat white. I've added two basic coffees. So let's- oh, this is my favorite part of this game, guys. So if you go in the coffee menu, you can create a new coffee. So first of all, you pick your cup. Which one? Let's do the big cup. Next, you can go in the coffee layers and say what you want. And look at all these crazy ingredients. Mayonnaise, Tabasco, ice cream. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I'm going to actually change the cup. Because I think I'm going to make the jubilee. And I'll put it in like this. This is kind of what it looks like a cup I would have. So, it would be hot water and espresso and then well normally i just put cold milk in and vanilla syrup now we can adjust how much like let's put in a lot of espresso we're gonna need some more hot hot water let's add you know let's add two shots of espresso two espressos. <laughs> Make it espresso-y. Let's add a little bit more. Let's sweeten it. Sweeten it, yeah. And we'll call this uh, the Jubilee. Wait, did I add an extra space? Yeah. This is the Jubilee. You can see like how long it'll take and what it's gonna cost and how much caffeine and everything. It's really fun. I mean, I would prefer to have hot milk, actually. I wonder how different it would be if I added hot milk rather than cold milk. You can, you can like experiment and see. We'll do hot milk. I just, I'm lazy and I just get the milk straight out of the fridge. Okay, save it and add the Jubilee to the menu. There we go. And now we need to get some beans and water filters and milk and all that, so. We'll go to the supply and order some beans. So let's order a few units of beans and some water filters. And we also need the milk. And we need the vanilla syrup to make um, the, my drink. And look, they arrived by drone. Look at this. Oh, I forgot to get two. And 
as you can see, it costs a lot more to have it instantly delivered rather than like a slow delivery. But we just pick it up too to get it. So now we have coffee and we just don't have an employee, so we'll hire a barista. Go to the employee tab. Who do we want to hire? So they can work different shifts, like a six hour day or a 12 hour day. And they have different quality. No one's very good at the coffee. Our choices are either poor or very poor. Um, Amy's pretty good at the milk, though. Um, I think I'd rather go with Justine for the 12 hour day. We'll just have her work like a really long day, even though, bless her heart, she's not too good at Not, not too great at making coffee. Okay, so now we set the schedule. I think, you know, we'll open, let's say, 7 to 7 seems like a good hour for, it seems like good hours for a coffee shop, right? So do you, what do you think about the graphics? I think they're, like I said, dated. Um, but, I don't know, maybe you disagree. I just not sure I love it, but I do actually really like uh, the premise of the game. Um, it's really fun, but it's also really hard. I, I struggled last night when I was playing it. I'm just gonna fast forward until she starts working a little bit longer. There really needs to be a faster fast forward and then another thing I don't like is there's only two ways to open the store. You can press this and open the coffee shop, or you can click on the sign. Um, but it's a little awkward. I don't know. There needs to be like a, a quick button that you press. Okay, so almost time. Here she comes. She shows up. Um, where is she? There she is. And now we're ready to open, so we can click on the sign and open the coffee shop. And we're open. Yeah. Sell the first coffee. Here comes our first customer. And Benjamin White, 37, approaching the bar. You have this really awkward. Oh, he ordered the Jubilee. Ah, that's awesome. Yeah, let's see what. What he thinks of the Jubilee. Let's offer, should we offer a $10 discount? But the coffee wasn't even $10. And then that's the tutorial, basically. Um, we don't get to find out what he thought. Uh, but I will give the demo mission a try. I'm going to put it on normal. I did normal last night and it did not go well. Who should we appeal to with our notes make? Um, I don't know, let's not try to appeal to anyone. Let's just try to make like the most relaxing ASMR cafe that you could have. So what image represents ASMR best? Um, I don't know, some of these are, some of these are very odd. Uh, these are some interesting shapes. This is a very interesting one. Well, I like, um, just a nice cup. That's, that's cozy to me. Okay, instead of calling it espresso tech here, I'm not gonna call it, um, the Whisper Cafe. The Whisper Cafe. And what kind of font do we like? No. No. That's kind of Maybe ballet harmony. Yeah, I think let's go with ballet harmony. We could do pink. <laughs> That's nice. Um, that actually looks quite pretty. I actually like it a lot. And kids, seniors, and students seem to like this. Alright. Um, let's check out the mission. We've inherited the coffee shop from our rich uncle. These are our targets. Well, I'm just gonna try to survive, first of all. 
So we are selling an espresso. Let's create a new coffee. Now last night I was getting really crazy. I made one called Milky Cow and it was hot milk and cold milk. <laughs> and it was it was hilariously a disaster. Um, let's make a terrible, terrible, terrible coffee. Let's see. Let's just do cold water. Like a lot of cold water. So I'll just do a tiny bit of espresso. Now I just want the smallest amount and it's it's just gonna be really cold. Right? It's all just cold water and a tiny bit of espresso. Should I should I put any milk? Should I put like cold milk? No, they didn't like that. We're gonna call it chilly willy. <laughs> milk will hurt your teeth. <laughs> my, my coffee drinks are absolutely terrible. I should never ever be allowed to run a cafe. Okay, I'm gonna need to order some vanilla, vanillish syrup. Um, I'll get like a bunch of it. Do I need anything else? I don't think so. Oh, but I don't even have an employee. No, I do have an employee. Um, Johnny Doe, who was just working, except I didn't even know he was working. <laughs> I had no idea he was working. The cafe was closed. That was terrible. Okay, the Whisper Cafe is not off to a good start, to be honest. And I would rather, um, someone work a longer shift than that, but I can always hire someone who works a small shift, to be fair. Like Sean. Sean is not great. Um, I think technically Sean would be better than Alan. They work the same and they're paid the same. Poor, poor. Okay, we're gonna hire Sean and Sean is going to work after Johnny. Let's open the store at six. That's, you know, nice and early for coffee. And we'll have his, um, hours start right after from two to six p.m. So we'll be open six to six, but we do have two different employees. Oh, here comes my syrup. Okay, I'll pick it up. I, last night when I was playing this, I, it was a disaster. Um, I ordered a bunch of crazy ingredients like fish sauce and mayonnaise, and I basically bankrupted myself ordering all this. And then I found out, 
I couldn't even use it. Like, if you go to create the coffee, you'll see that you can't even use these things. They're not, they've not been researched. And I couldn't research it because I didn't have enough golden beans. So, um, I had no money and then I had to pay, oh, I've got to water my plant. And then I had to pay my employees and I went bankrupt immediately and then I could never catch up because I could never sell enough coffee to counteract what I had to pay my employees. It was a disaster. You know what? Real quickly, let's spend a little bit more of our money um, buying another table and chairs. Okay, let's see. Um, table. We'll do the small cheap table. And chair. Just a chair. And should someone sit outside? Like have two, two seats outside? What do you guys think? Okay, I don't want to spend too much money. I'm worried that, like, I'll go bankrupt again. And I found it really hard. That's what I get for putting the difficulty on normal instead of easy, apparently. The Whisper Cafe. Which looks like this. It's not even open. Yeah, and something else. Okay, we're getting ready to open. It's early in the morning. I do also wish that the employees would come, like, before it opens. That's what they're supposed to do, right? So that I can open, right? It's at 6? Six? 6. That's what time we open, right? Yeah, 6 a.m. Instead, they don't show up here until... What is this thing? I, I can have a bathroom. That's actually really good. Okay, I'm going to open the store a little early so that people have time to come in if they want. Probably no one will even come in though. Are you, will you be our first customer? Nope. Will you be our first customer? Yeah. See, look at this. 6.30 and he's not even working yet. That's not very good. Whoa! The camera is wild. Okay, he's ordering espresso. This is our money multiplier. If you have more decoration and stuff and collect more style points, you can increase your money multiplier. Okay. Huh. I. We have to get to 20 in order to get it to be higher. Okay, let's see. What's his name? Steve. He thinks the price of espresso is a bit high. Okay, well, sorry, Steve. You know, it's hard to run a cafe. Chili Willy. Larry's ordering the Chili Willy, and he thinks it's very affordable. Thank you, Larry. I agree. The Chili Willy was just like cold water and a tiny bit of espresso, right? I've already forgotten what's on my menu. Yeah, it's a lot of water and only a tiny bit of coffee. I can adjust the prices too if I think, oh my gosh, it costs so much for the Chili Willy. It's ridiculous. Okay, he's gonna sit down. Yeah, the animations are not great. Look at his arms while, while he, like when he reaches for it. I mean, you can tell the animations are bad. Okay. <laughs> so this is what I mean. I think if they had gone with like a more cartoon style, it would have looked better. Oh, she's ordering a sweet tooth. And it's not her favorite coffee. Well, is it anyone's? It's not even coffee. It's just like milk and sugar. <laughs> Uh-oh, this guy made a mess. We gotta clean it up. Okay. So far, the Whisper Cafe seems to be doing pretty good. But 
are we going to sell enough in order to pay this guy what we pay him? I don't think so. I think we're going to lose money. Oh, why did you leave? Because sweet tooth costs way too much. Well, it was a kid, to be fair. I mean, the kid's not going to have that much money, are they? Oh, this guy made a mess too. Okay. Okay. Peter is ordering the sweet tooth. fast forward and I think at 2 p.m. his shift stops and then the next employee will come in. Yeah. Sweet tooth to go. Okay. We have to go, Cups. We do. Oh man, this is making me need some coffee. Oh, so we had to pay him a hundred dollars and now we're down a bunch of money. This is less money than we had before. And then we're gonna have to also pay Sean. Sean thinks we should be using higher quality ingredients. Okay, well you pay for them, Sean. It's hard to run a business, okay? So, what do you think? I do really like the sound effects in this game, you know, pouring the coffee and all that. I do think it's really good. Um, I think visually it could do a lot better. We could have a big improvement here. Um, this art style was not the way to go, I think. But there is something weirdly nostalgic about the gameplay, which I enjoy. And creating the custom coffee is really funny. Um, I made one last night that I named after a friend of mine who really likes coffee syrups. So I named it after him and I had like nine shots of syrup in it. Um, it was gross. It was like, it was so sweet. It was over a thousand calories. And it just, it took up so much syrup. It was insane. Um, so, I think you can have a lot of fun playing this game. <laughs> okay. And, uh, why did I do do well? I gotta close the shop. So that is Espresso Tycoon. Um, yeah, I think it's got a lot of promise. I think I would have a lot of fun playing this. Um, I was literally laughing like myself to tears last night at the ridiculous coffees I was ordering. Um, I, it, was, it was a lot of fun. Um, so, hopefully you feel the same way. Okay, after that last game, I actually had to go and get a coffee because I'm super thirsty, especially for coffee. So I do have one here, and I'm gonna have a sip, if you don't mind. This next and last demo that I'm gonna play is Food Truck Simulator. Now, if you've been on my channel and you've watched me play, gas station simulator. This is by the same company. Um, so it does feel really similar. Um, silly looking people, but really fun, pretty addicting kind of gameplay. And this one is pretty different given that it's like a food truck. It's something kind of mobile rather than we're just staying in the one gas station. So, I have high hopes for this one. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Like with the last game, I kind of don't care about the backstory. Um, you know how in Gas Station Simulator there was like this backstory about your uncle and I, I don't know. To be honest, I didn't really care. So, I don't really care about this one. It's just not very compelling. Coffee time. I'll use the PC, customize the truck. We're gonna paint it. All right, we only have three options. Green, that looks like yellow, but then it's actually orange. And then that looks like peach, but it's like a deep orange. Um, let's go green. Yeah, sure. Um, the layout, by layout, they just mean like the art. So we could do 
this one, this very interesting one, or this one that says you're gonna freaking love it in Comic Sans. Oh yeah, Comic Sans all the way. What color? Um, something that pops, I guess, so we'll do like a... I don't know, this purpley kind of color. We'll saturate it. Yeah. Sure. I mean, red would be best. We'll go like there. Okay. It doesn't look very good, to be honest. Okay, we need some new tires because those are all flat. And we're gonna get some upgrades, like a burger grilling machine. figured out a recipe to make a burger. I think we're gonna have a burger truck. Um, okay, find the map inside the garage. Well, I've almost finished this coffee. Check out my little loft. So let's see, the graphics probably remind you of gas station sim. And uh, what collectible? Okay, here's the map. Install the radio. I don't really want a radio. I've actually just, um, I've actually turned off the music, so it's not like you'll even hear the radio. Yeah, I turned it off. Okay, upgrades. Radio. Well, I'm glad I don't, but I don't want it. <laughs> okay. How do I leave? Uh, what? That was weird. Okay. Now what? What is going on? Um, I think that this... I don't know, might be... Might be bugged out. Oh dear. It's the other side of my very ugly truck. Oh dear, um, I don't know what exactly I'm supposed to do, but, um, I think it's broken. Okay, hold on, give me a minute, I will restart this. Okay, well, it is a, um, a demo, so they're still working on the game, of course, um, so we won't be too, you know, hard on them, but, um, we are now going to order some ingredients for us to make burgers. I told you all the games were like food related. Okay, we're gonna need 12 burger buns, 12 meat patties, 8 slices of bacon, 8 slices of cheese, um, Four tomatoes, tomatoes, four gas bottles, and that's it. Order. Yeah. Okay. Mm, discount. So we need to go pick up the, um, we gotta go get the food before that time runs out. Okay. Um, the pink looks pretty bad, I think. Let's do first person. Yeah. Now. The driving in this is pretty funny. Um, it's a little finicky. And I noticed that you can just hit things and people. It's not really a big deal in this game. <laughs> Oops. So, um, there's no seemingly my stuck. There doesn't seem to be like a truck damage. Yet. I don't know if they're gonna add that or not, but the truck can just hit things and there's no real repercussions. So I'm going to drive like a maniac <laughs> and just do whatever I want to do. Okay, shop is. Oh, excuse you. Shop's up ahead to the left. 
gotta get there in time, you know, so I get my discount. Um, past the roundabout? Let's go this way around the roundabout. And, excuse you. Okay, we're just gonna... Turn in here and get our get our discount. Hello, Clara. Well, we got it. All right, collect the order. Now we gotta put stuff in the fridge. Um, we have shelves and a fridge, and we don't have a freezer. So put the meat in the fridge, all of it, and you can set the rest of it automatically. Okay, that's easy. Except, we don't actually have to put the burger buns, we'll move them to the shelves. Okay, done. Whoa. This is... I can see myself. That's weird. Okay, where am I going now? Back to my garage? No, we're going to the park. We're driving to Serenity Park. Where we're going to sell some burgers. It's so funny driving this, it's so awkward. Alright, here we are at Serenity Park. We've arrived, everyone. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So relaxing, right? Okay, here we are. This is, um, this is not exactly how I remember driving up to the park. I remember it a little bit more crashing and burning, but uh, sure. Time to open up for business. I love food trucks. I actually really like going to them, so this is pretty fun. Look at that. We're She's looking at her menu, I think, and everyone else is kind of staring us. Oh, we have an order. A chicken. A chicken. Cheese bacon burger, um, which is toasted bun, meat well done, cheese sliced, bacon well done, tomato sliced, tomato sliced, toasted bun. Okay, let's get out. Oh, oh I don't want the radio on. I really don't. Yep, I've already done this. Interact with the monitors. And yep, yep. Let's get out. Oh, turn on the grill. Whoops. No, there's no gas. Okay. We're gonna need to put in the gas bottle. So, here it is. We put it in. Now we can turn on the grill. Now we can get out our burger patty, put it on the grill. And again, it needs to be well done. So, oh, and bacon. We also need bacon. The bacon needs to be well done as well. Okay, it's uncooked right now. Now it's rare. Next will be medium. So while we're waiting on that, we'll put the burger box um, here and cut the buns. So put it on the cutting board and then we you do it like this. Cut. There we go. And the they're gonna actually need to be toasted. Their food's not done yet. I'll go ahead and I will add it. Okay, oh, the meat is well done. I'm just gonna take it and place it on the table, which I really hope is cleaned and sanitized enough. Um, the burger bun. Alright, let's go ahead and put it in there, and this one's toasted too. Next, I need to take out a tomato and cut it into five slices. So, um, I can actually rotate camera because it's kind of awkward. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. All right, um, so it goes toasted bun. You don't actually have to do it in order, but I like to do it in order. Meat, cheese slice, bacon. Now I want a burger. 
tomato, tomato, and toasted bun. Sorry, my partner insists that I say tomato or he gets mad. Not like in a serious mad, but he's like, you have to say it that way. It's the right way. And now I've been conditioned to say it. If I'm around other Americans, I'll usually say tomato again, but... Oh. So there we go. We did our first order. Hope you enjoy your <laughs> bacon cheeseburger, ma'am. She gave us the thumbs up, so... Oh, we have a new order, number two, which is a classic burger. And they want the meat rare, okay. So we'll just take the meat, leave it rare. We're gonna need some more buns, chopped and toasted. Oh, we should probably move the tomatoes off the cutting board. Okay, put it on there. Let's see if our, our meat is rare, so we'll take it off. Put the burger box there. And, um, slice. Okay, now toast it. And toast it. That's it, right? Yeah. So, toasted bun, rare meat, two tomato slices, and the toasted bun. And we have another order too coming up, which is going to be meat well done. So, I'm going to go ahead and get that out and start preparing that. There's our toasted bun. Next, our rare meat. And... First time I did this last night, I burned the bread in my very first order. Like, I was like, here you go, and it was completely burnt. And they didn't even complain. Oh, toasted bun. So I guess they can't complain, and especially not in the first order. <sighs> Toast that bun. Meanwhile, our meat is medium gonna wait for it to be well done. Get the burger box out. And oh, we have another new order. That one's a cheeseburger. We're gonna need another well done meat. I'll get that ready. Okay, the buns are toasted and the meat is well done. Was there anything else in this order? It was like really simple, right? Yeah. It's just a, a super plain burger. And the cheeseburger, um, toasted bun. I don't know if you can hear my stomach. My stomach is now growling because I'm kind of hungry. And I guess looking at burgers is not a good thing to do when you're hungry, evidently. Um, <laughs> great. So it's growling. Um, well done meat. So just the toasted bun, the well done meat, the cheese slice, and the toasted bun. Okay, toasted bun. Well done, meat, cheese slice, and another toasted bun. And that's it. That's the order. And I think we got enough to reach prestige level one. There you go, ma'am. Enjoy your burger. We've unlocked, uh, like, the French fry fryer and the, some sort of freezer thing. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty fun. I do really like that. I've been wanting a kind of a game where you, like, cook food truck kind of stuff. Um, it could maybe be a little better looking. I, I, I wasn't a huge fan of the gas station. Um, or, oh, we have to clean, clean the grill of the, the gas station. Some graphics, they weren't like my favorite in the world. Oh, turn off the grill. Oops. Um, this is the bits you gotta clean. There we go. Clean it all. Okay, it's nice and clean now, I think. <laughs> Alright, put that back. And we go back to the city, but we have another order. I'm gonna do it. Neat. Well done. And turn it on. And get the toasted bun, or toast that bun. And choppity chop. Toast that bread. Get the cheese out. Put the cheese down. My hands are full. I have this one tomato slice that I didn't use. Um, I don't know what to do about it, to be honest. Okay, um... Come on, finish.
change up. Uh oh. I've run out of fuel. Okay, I need to get another fuel canister. Um, we'll put that in the trash and get out another. That went quite quickly. Um, turn the grill back on. All right, that that's toasted and um, that's toasted and the, they wanted meat well done. Okay, I can just go ahead and put in the cheese. I don't really care about the order. Almost there. And well done. Top it and give it to the customer. Here you go. Enjoy your cheeseburger. Now we have to go back to the city and um, go back to the garage or, or whatever. Did you see that? We just like launched into the we just fell from the sky. Okay, um there's a city map. There's a nightclub. I think we're gonna have to probably go to the nightclub. Oh, they want us to go to Claire's store and then go back to the garage first. I can't see. It's too much of a glare. Again, I'm gonna go the wrong way around the roundabout. It's too much fun. You can just drive like a maniac, there's just like no consequences. It's like GTA. Uh, oh, we almost tipped the... Did you see that? We almost tipped over the car. Oh boy, we gotta get a bunch of stuff. We're gonna need all of this. Onion. And the fries, and the ketchup, and the mayonnaise, and the mustard and the oil. Okay, how much of each thing? We're gonna need 12 buns, 12 meat, 8 bacon, 8 cheese. We're good on the tomato. Gas, onion, more fries. Excuse me, ma'am. Um, I think that's good. Okay, purchase. We did it. And I'll just automatically do it. And then we drive back to the garage, the carriage. I've actually not done the, the third person mode. Should we try it? Oh, it's awkward. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, oops, sorry, sorry. Okay, going back to first person, I like it a little more. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's easy to tip this thing. Oh no, oh no, oh no, there we go. Whew. Did you see that? I almost tipped it again. Can I run over fire hydrants? Yep. 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 <gasps> Oops. Sorry, guys. Can you just move out of the way, please? Guys, just move out of the way, please. Thank you. I'm trying to get back to my garage. And, um, I will do whatever it takes to get there. <laughs> and you'll see. After all that, there will be absolutely no damage to the vehicle. Just none. It looks fine. Okay, we have to install the fry machine and the freezer. So, fry machine. Yep, and freezer. Next, they want us to drive to the nightclub area selling point. Well, I'm not going to do that. I don't have... I don't really have time to do all that and do it again, but I think you guys get the gist of the game. Oh, there's something up there, like a collectible. Um, it's pretty fun. Like, it definitely... It's one of those games where, like, the gameplay... It doesn't look up, but the gameplay is really good. It's quite fun and addicting the way Gas Station Sim was. Um, I got really, really, really hooked on Gas Station Sim for quite a while. I was kind of obsessed with playing it. I can't see. It's really, really dark over here. And I can't jump. I wanted to jump off the railing. Um, it's a, one of those silly kind of games, but I, I had a lot of fun. And I'll definitely be getting this and the other two games. Um, yeah, I'll be getting all three games, really, because all of them are the kind of things that I like. Uh, whether or not 
I'd play them on the channel, I don't know. This was more about me showing you some new games you might be interested in. I wanted to go to sleep. <laughs> I can't. Um, so yeah, let me know. Did you like... Oh, at Cal Station 7. Did you like these games? Which one was your favorite? Um, and why? So yeah, which one are you looking forward to most? And um, I hope you had fun today. And I hope that, most importantly, you are relaxed. And that you had a little cozy time in my little cozy corner of YouTube. I really love it. Like, creating a space for everyone where you can just come to relax. And you just know it's gonna be fun and it's gonna be chill. And yeah, you're always welcome here. I hope you know that. And I hope you feel loved and welcomed. Alright, until next time, guys. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Good night, everyone.